All right, let's talk about lighting our scenes in Unreal Engine 5. Now, I've always said that good lighting can make a bad model look good, but bad lighting can make a good model look bad. When rendering a 3D scene, whether it's for a game or for film, the lighting can really make the difference between a good render and a bad render. Unreal Engine 5 improves the real-time lighting workflow with the addition of two major features, Lumen and Virtual Shadow Maps. Armed with these two major features, Unreal Engine 5 can deliver a level of high-quality fidelity unmatched by Unreal Engine 4. And in this lesson, we're going to explore Lumen. So the first question is, what is Lumen? Well, Lumen is a system for delivering real-time dynamic global illumination and reflections. It's able to deliver results that are often on par with path traced or offline renderers. If you've ever heard of ray trace renderers like Mendel Ray or V-Ray, Lumen aims to deliver similar results, but in real time. Typically a feature of these ray trace renderers that can take minutes to render a single frame, Lumen brings global illumination to real time at up to 60 frames per second. So what is global illumination? Well, global illumination is the simulation of light bouncing and reflecting off of surfaces to further illuminate a scene. As light hits a surface, it bounces off carrying the color of the surface with it in an exponentially reduced intensity. This creates what's called indirect ambient lighting. A really good example of that would be here in this video, I have my key light here and I have a reflector right here where the light is hitting the reflector and bouncing off and hitting me. So if I were to take this away, we get less of that bounced light on my face. I bring it back and you can see that a little more of that bounce light comes off. So as you can see, my reflector right here What's happening is my key light over here is coming and it's hitting the reflector right here and bouncing off and casting light back onto my face. So as I take this over here and I move it around in different ways, I get different lighting scenarios on my face. And that is a prime example of how that bounced light works. So the light coming from the light source is considered direct lighting. Whereas the bounce light that's reflecting off of a surface is considered indirect lighting. So why is Lumen and all this global illumination stuff a big deal? Well, Lumen brings the global illumination or GI to a production ready feature in real time. Game engines in the past have had global illumination features, but they've always been static. This typically involved baking the lighting down to shadow maps that are then overlaid onto the environment. This means that the lights couldn't be changed at runtime and any lights that did need to change would feel disconnected from the baked lighting in the world. Lumen, however, gives us the first truly production ready, real time, dynamic global illumination system so there is no need to bake or cache the lighting. So how does Lumen work? Well, at a technical level, Lumen uses a hybrid ray tracing approach to bounce the light around the scene and provides an incredible set of real-time reflections. Decades of research and development went into making Lumen possible, so the technical details are really out of the scope of this lesson. But to look at it from a higher level, it can do what light baking used to do but dynamically in real time. To help give an idea of what Lumen's global illumination is contributing to the scene, we can use the Lumen optimization view modes in Unreal. There are three that we can use and we can access them by going up to the lit button in our viewport and coming all the way down to Lumen. The first one we're going to look at is the Lumen scene. This shows the simplified version of the scene that is being used to calculate that bounce lighting. This is the secret to how Lumen pulls off real-time dynamic global illumination. Think of it like a giant emissive material casting subtle ambient light back into the scene. The Lumen scene is calculated off of the base color in the material of all the objects in the scene. We can look at the base color of the scene by clicking on our view mode button up here and coming down to buffer visualizations, then going over to base color. This represents the base color material attribute on the materials in the scene. And this is different from the unlit view mode because it shows the base color directly. 
You can see if we toggle back to lumen scene, how the lumen scene is derived from that base color. The next view mode we'll look at is the reflection view. This shows which objects in the scene lumen is considering for reflections into the scene. Keep in mind that this is different from the top level reflection view mode, which actually shows the reflections themselves. The third view mode we wanna look at is the surface cache. Now the surface cache is like a temporary bake of the lumen scene that updates as the player or the camera moves around the scene. This allows lumen to remember what off-screen geometry looks like without it having to recalculate it every scene. With lumen, the global illumination is a major part of lighting the scene. As light bounces off of the surface in the scene, the bounce light takes on the property of that color. So you can see here when the wall is white, the bounce lighting is very neutral and very white. If we change the color of the wall, you can see that the bounce lighting takes on the color of that wall as it's reflected out into the scene on everything else. It's the same thing if we were to bring a sphere out into our scene. When it's white, the bounce lighting is very neutral and very white, but if we add color to the sphere, it bounces that color out into the scene. As we move the sphere around, you can see the influence of that color travel with it. We can also use the lumen scene view mode to see what color lumen is reading and bouncing into the scene. Once again, this is based on the base color of the material on all the objects. So as you can see, because of the way that global illumination works, the way a scene is textured has a massive impact on the lighting of the scene. This means that the texture look dev process and lighting actually go hand in hand when crafting the visual mood of the scene.